This is Mrs. Butcher, and this video is for Unit 7-7. It is adding and subtracting rational expressions. All right, we did a fractions review packet not that long ago, um, but let's just review. If I added 2 thirds to 1 third, then I, all I have to do is add across the top. 2 plus 1 is 3, and keep a common denominator, 3 thirds. And then, of course, you reduce, and that gives you 1. So if you don't have the same denominator, suppose we're adding one-sixth plus one-third, you have to change your fraction so that you do have a common denominator. And three does go into six, so we can change this three to a six by multiplying it by two. And so I have to multiply this one by two. Two-sixths is the same thing as one-third. So you're not actually changing the value of it, you're just changing the way it's written. So now when I add one-sixth and two-sixths, I can say that's three-sixths, and then of course reduce that down to one-half. So now, let's try an ugly one. Let's try one with um, expressions with x in here. I've got x divided by x minus 2, and then I have minus 3x minus 1 over x minus 2. So notice that I do have a common denominator. So I'm just going to subtract across the top. We've got x. We have minus. And then you have 3x minus 1, and it is very important that you put parentheses around that 3x minus 1 because you are subtracting all of it, not just the 3x. So we want to make sure that we distribute our negative. That's very important. That's going to mess up a lot of people. And then we have over, and then you have your common denominator, x minus 2. It just repeats. So now on the top, I have x minus 3x, and then minus minus 1 is plus 1 over x minus 2, which when we combine like terms, x minus 3x is negative 2x, and then we have plus 1 over x minus 2. And that is as simplified as it's going to get. Alright, here's one. It's um, just 1 over 2x squared plus 5 over 4x. We don't have a common denominator, so we have to figure out what do both of these have in common. And when you do that, split it up into the constants and then the variables. So we've got 2 and 4. 2 and 4 both go into 4. And then we have x squared and we have x. x goes into x squared because x squared is x times x, so x squared. Our lowest common denominator is going to be 4x squared. In order to make 1 over 2x squared into something with a 4x squared on the bottom, I'm going to have to multiply top and bottom, here I'm going to use a different color, top and bottom by 2. And then I have this plus 5 over 4x, and I want to make that 4x squared, so I have to multiply it by another x. And since you do it to the bottom, you have to do it to the top. So now I have 1 times 2 is 2 over 4x squared, plus 5 times x is 5x over 4x squared, now that I have a common denominator, I can just put the 2 and the 5x together. So 2 plus 5x on top and 4x squared on the bottom. Okay, now we have 3 over x, x plus 2 and then minus and then 8 over x minus 2. So these denominators are different. And because they are adding and subtracting, you have to keep them as a whole group. And that means I have this whole group and I have this whole group. So those are completely different numbers. Whatever you had for x, if you plugged it in, you'd have two completely different numbers. So our lowest common denominator is going to be an x plus 2. We need one of those. And an x minus 2. So you're just going to use one of each as your common denominator. And that means that I'm going to have to multiply this one by x minus 2 on top and bottom and this one by x plus 2 on top and bottom to give us that common denominator. All right, so let's multiply that out. We've got 3 parentheses x minus 2 minus 8 parentheses x plus 2 all over our common denominator of x minus 2 x plus 2. We don't ever want to multiply this bottom part out. Just leave it factored. Leave it alone. But this top part, because I've got a minus in between here. I want to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to clean it up down here. 
So we've got to distribute the 3, and we have 3x minus 6. And then I'm going to distribute the negative 8, and I have minus 8x, and I have minus 16. Make sure you remember that's a negative 8 that's being distributed all over the common denominator. And then last, we can combine like terms. We've got 3x and minus 8x gives you negative 5x. And we have minus 6 and minus 16 gives you negative 22. And then that's all over x minus 2 and x plus 2. And because this top part doesn't factor any further, we call it a day. We're done. All right, here's a new one. We've got 8x over x squared minus 9 plus x minus 7 over x minus 3. And the very first thing you have to discover here is you have to be able to look at this and say that must be factored. So that's going to factor to x plus 3x minus 3. We always want to factor everything that we can first. All right, so now that we've factored that, we have 8x over x plus 3, x minus 3, and we have x minus 7 over x minus 3. And I'm going to go ahead and group these guys. So now we're looking for a lowest common denominator. In this denominator, I have this group and I have this group. I have 1x plus 3, so I'm going to need an x plus 3. And I have an x minus 3, so I'm going to need an x minus 3. And then in this denominator, I have x minus 3, and that's taken care of right there. So I don't need to add another one because this is common to both of them. So that's my lowest common denominator. Now I need to create a common, that same common denominator in both fractions. So when I look at the first one, I've got 8x. It's already over x plus 3x minus 3. And since it's already over what our common denominator is, we don't change it. We leave it alone. It's, it's, it's fine the way it is. Then I have a plus, and then I've got my x minus 7 over x minus 3, and I need the denominator to have an x plus 3 in it as well, and so I'm going to multiply the top also by x plus 3. So you're not changing it, you're just rewriting it in a different way. Now our denominators are the same, and it doesn't matter if the plus or minus comes first. It, they're still the same. A, B, and B, A are the same thing. So I'm going to combine the numerators. I've got 8x plus, and I need to FOIL this out, so x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, negative 7x, and negative 21. And that's all going to be over our one common denominator, x plus 3x minus 3. Don't FOIL the bottom out, it's factored and it's not going to change, so we leave it factored. But on the top, we want to combine like terms, so we've got x squared, and then we have 8x and 3x makes 11x. 11 minus 7 is 4x, so x squared plus 4x. And then I have minus 21. That's the numerator. The denominator is x plus 3x minus 3. And then this top one is that this numerator is a quadratic, and it looks like it might be factorable. So we need to check, are there factors of negative 21? that add to 4, and there are because 21 is 7 times 3, and so we want a positive 7 and a negative 3 because 7 minus 3 would give us 4, and 7 times negative 3 would give us negative 21 over the same common denominator. And then it's not always going to work out this way, but in this case, the x minus 3s can cancel out. So our final answer is x plus 7 over x plus 3. All right, new problem. 3 over x squared minus 5x plus 6 plus 2 over x squared minus 4. And like I said in the last one, the first thing we want to do is factor. So I've got 3 over, and then I'm going to look at this. Factors of 6 that add to negative 5 would be um, not 6 and negative 1, because that would give you positive 5. Not negative 6 and positive 1, that wouldn't work either, but 3 and 2, or negative 3 and negative 2. So we're going to use x minus 3 and x minus 2. Because negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, and negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Plus 2 over, and x squared minus 4 is a difference of squares, so that's x plus 2 and x minus 2. 
So now we need to come up with a lowest common denominator. This denominator has an x minus 3 and an x minus 2, so we need those. This, com this denominator has an x plus 2, which that one doesn't have, so we need one of those also, x plus 2. And it has an x minus 2, but x minus 2 is already taken care of right there, so we don't need another one of those. We have one of everything now in our lowest common denominator. That means that this first fraction needs to be multiplied by x plus 2, top and bottom, so that I can have it in the bottom. And this one, the second one, needs an x minus 3, because it doesn't have that yet, top and bottom. Okay, so I've got 3 and x plus 2, plus 2 with an x minus 3, all over my common denominator of x minus 3, x minus 2, and x plus 2. Whew. Remember, leave that factor. Don't mess with the bottom there. But the top, because I've got this plus in the middle of it, I do want to make that 3x plus 6 plus 2x minus 6 over my lowest common denominator. I'm going to cheat a little bit. All right, so 3x and 2x makes 5x. And 6 minus 6 is nothing, so it's 5x all over. And I'm going to write it because this is my final answer. x minus 3, x minus 2, and x plus 2. So that is your final answer right there. All right, the last thing I'm going to do with you guys is complex fractions. Remember the fractions and fractions that we did with um, just the numbers? We can do the same thing with letters. This, the same rules apply. You're going to simplify the numerator, you're going to simplify the denominator, and then you will flip and multiply. So we start with the numerator. We have k plus 1 over k minus 2. This is over 1, so our common denominator needs to be k minus 2. That means that this needs to be multiplied by k minus 2 and k minus 2. So I have k, I'm just going to distribute my k, k squared minus 2k, and then we have plus 1 all over our common denominator of k minus 2. And we see, can that factor? Uh, I don't know if it can factor, so we look at it. And it can, because you could multiply negative 1 times negative 1 and get positive 1, and you could add them, so we've got k minus 1, k minus 1, over k minus 2. So that is your numerator. And I'm going to put that in parentheses too, so it's nice and clean. All right, second step, simplify the denominator. So that's going to go down here. We have k squared over k minus 2 plus 1 over 1. So our common denominator needs to be k minus 2. So this needs to be multiplied by k minus 2 and k minus 2. That gives us k squared plus k minus 2 all over k minus 2. Don't get tempted to cross out like that. You cannot do that. That's killing kittens. So what we do want to do is factor the top. k squared plus k minus 2. Factors of negative 2 that add to positive 1 would be k plus 2 and k minus 1. And then that's all over your common denominator of k minus 2. So now I've simplified the top. I've simplified the bottom. Now I need to flip and multiply. So I'm going to go to the next page and write the numerator, which was k minus 1, k minus 1 over k minus 2. And then we're dividing by, so we're going to flip and multiply. So we're going to go times. And then the other fraction, when we flip it, k minus 2 goes on top. And on the bottom, the denominator is k plus 2 and k minus 1. So now we're flipping and multiplying. And remember, when we multiply, we can just connect this across and times and times. So it's all together now. And that means I can just start crossing things out because I've got a k minus 1 here and here, and those groups can cancel out. And I have a k minus 2 here and here, and those groups can cancel out. So all I have left on top is a k minus 1, and all I have left on the bottom is a k plus 2, 
and that is as simplified as it's going to get. All right, one more of these just for some extra practice. On the numerator, which we're going to do first, we have 1 over xy minus 1 over y squared. So our common denominator needs to have an x in it, so this needs to be multiplied by x here and here. And it has a y here and a y squared here, so I need a y squared, so that means I need another y up there. So that means I've got y minus x in the numerator, and then xy squared in the denominator. All right now we'll do the bottom. In the bottom, there's an x squared here and an x here, so if I need another x there, then I need an x on top. And I need another y there, so I need a y on top. So I have y minus x over x squared, y squared. So now I'm going to flip and multiply. That means I'm just going to take this and flip it over and put x squared, y squared here over y minus x, because I just flipped it. And then since this is a group, stop doing that. And this is a group these can cross out. I can also cross out one of the x's, leaving me with one on top, and I can cross out all the y squareds. So the only thing I'm left with is the letter x. So all of that is equal to the letter x. Kind of sad, but it's kind of funny too. All right, see you guys tomorrow.